Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I've got my coffee. It's a little past like 8, 30, 9 o'clock right now and I thought I would bring you guys along for a what I eat in a day video. You guys really seem to like these and it's a good way for me to kind of give you guys extra recipes and kind of share just what we do on a daily basis outside of like our what's for dinner videos. So I thought I would bring you along for that today. You guys know I have been fasting and I'm on this faster way to fat loss program and I've really enjoyed it. I can totally see results. I think I've lost a little over five pounds at this point which is amazing it makes me so happy I have not kept up with it like 100% strict wise um, I really just kind of incorporated it into our lifestyle and try to do things that I know long term I can keep up with and that I will keep doing so I have been fasting and I do that usually three to four days a week I still have my coffee in the morning and I make it the way I want to make it and that's just like a non-negotiable for me so I know that technically pretty much breaks my fast, but it is what it is. I do it and that's just like my little thing. And then lately I've been doing like 11 to seven. That has seemed to work really well for us. I'll usually have like a little snack, small breakfast, something around 11 just to kind of hold me over and curb my appetite. And then around 1.30, even sometimes two o'clock um, is usually when Bunky and I start to make lunch every day. And then we'll start cooking dinner around 5.45, 6. We're usually done eating around seven. Some nights it's later. Some days it just doesn't work. And that's totally okay it's all about balance and like knowing okay you have a fresh start the next day as well so that's kind of what I've been doing and I really have enjoyed it so anyway I'm gonna bring you guys along today I'm gonna go get some work done to get myself ready for the day and then I will pick up the camera in just a little bit and I'm sure I'll make like a snack or something around 11 okay so it's about 5 till 11 now and I've been trying to kind of break my fast around 11 o'clock that seems to work best for us so I basically do two scrambled eggs I'll do one little hash brown patty and then two pieces of bacon. I probably should use turkey bacon, but I'm just not going to do that or give it up. So I just do my two little pieces of bacon. And then this is like small enough to where it holds me over. It curves my appetite. I still get to eat my breakfast, which I love. And then I'm not like stuffed to where I don't want to eat lunch. So it's kind of just that perfect balance. So I'm going to go ahead and start scrambling my eggs and my bacon and hash browns. So normally I can just get away with like one tablespoon of olive oil for my little hash brown patty, but this like Walmart brand, I don't know y'all, they like need more than one. If you do one, it like stays dry. I don't know. I can't explain it. <laughs> you just need a little bit more. So anyway, any other brand, you can probably just get away with like one tablespoon of olive oil. And then I'm just going to kind of fry this on each side and then I'm going to break it up. I'm essentially making like a little breakfast bowl so I do like to go ahead and cut my bacon into bite-sized pieces that way it's just easier and I don't have to tear it apart while it's hot and burn my fingers so that's why I'm going ahead and cutting it before I put it in my pan and then I just like break that little hash brown up with my spatula it comes apart so easily and honestly y'all I feel like this makes the best hash browns like better than what comes out of the bag Okay, so I already have a lot of that residual leftover olive oil in this pan, so I'm going to add just the tiniest little bit of butter to make sure I have enough that my eggs won't stick, and then I'll go ahead and cook these while the bacon's finishing. And this, my friends, is one of my favorite breakfasts ever. I don't have it every day, but usually like twice a week. And then the other days, I'll either skip breakfast or I'll like have a smoothie with Bunky or maybe just like some grits or something. But so delicious. So this is what's for my mid-morning breakfast. Okay, so now it is time to make some lunch. Bunky is actually upstairs on a conference call, so I'm gonna go ahead and make us some lunch so that it is ready whenever he gets off of his call. And today we're gonna have this balsamic fig chicken, which sounds so good. Y'all know I love anything balsamic and especially fig. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite things ever. And I do wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys already know we are obsessed. We love them so much. I know I say this every single month, but 
Seriously, it is my favorite week of the month whenever it arrives to my doorstep and I don't have to think about what we're gonna have for lunches and dinners that week. It helps me out so much. It takes a lot off of my plate. And I think I told you guys this last time, but we have really enjoyed making our HelloFresh meals for lunchtime because it gives us something exciting for lunch instead of boring old sandwiches all the time. So anyway, I know this one is gonna be delicious because all of them are delicious. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and we're gonna get to cooking. I love that with every meal you get this recipe card that shows you exactly what the recipe is going to be about how long it will take to make it which is usually 30 minutes or less yes please that saves me so much time it also gives you the calories step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to prep and prepare the recipe I mean it doesn't get much simpler than that HelloFresh is also very flexible to fit your lifestyle. You can always add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order, throw in extra proteins like more chicken or meat. You can also add in their best-selling garlic bread. So many different ways to customize your order. Okay, so my potatoes are prepped. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven at 450 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so I went ahead and patted my chicken dry and then I'm gonna toss it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper it, and then we'll cook it on each side for about three to five minutes. I'm just gonna do it over like medium heat. Okay, potatoes are done and they look so good. They smell so good. So I cannot wait for the rest of this to be finished so we can have a delicious. Y'all, I was like standing here making this lunch and all of a sudden I got the best idea and it made me so excited. I was like, how amazing would it be to plan my HelloFresh week around when we're gonna take the RV somewhere and be out camping? I'm like, everything's pre-measured, pre-packaged. It's right here in this little brown bag. All I have to do is like grab that, put it in the fridge, in the RV, like I don't have to worry about going to the grocery store and buying tons of stuff and all of these ingredients and probably way more than what we would actually need for each dinner like all of a sudden I got super excited because that is going to be like such a time saver and like just so convenient for camping so I'm even more excited now. I'm telling you, I seriously love HelloFresh so much. Okay, so chicken is done. It is resting. And then to the same pan, I just have a little bit of leftover olive oil. And I'm going to add in this rosemary. And then I'll add in our fig jam, our balsamic vinegar. And then we have a little bit of chicken stock. With more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, no wonder HelloFresh is America's number one. And if you want to try HelloFresh as well, use my code JESSICA080 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. And that's JESSICA080 at HelloFresh.com. Y'all tell me that does not look like a scrumptious lunch. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to eat this. Bunky is still in his call, so I left his in the oven to stay warm, but so yummy and it was done in almost 30 minutes, so super fast. And this is going to be amazing. That fig and balsamic smells so good. It's amazing. The fig, balsamic, and rosemary together is like heavenly. That's like one of my favorite flavor combinations. So good. The potatoes are cooked perfectly. Chicken's cooked perfectly. This is delicious. Okay, y'all. So tonight for dinner, I am super excited because we have never made this before. And I think it's going to be really good. And it's like super versatile. So we're going to do kind of like cheeseburger bowls. So no bun. It can totally be like carb friendly. Um, we have this little bit of like shredded iceberg lettuce left. And then we also have some of this spring mix. So I'm going to kind of mix those together at the bottom of our bowl. We're going to ground this up ground this up <laughs> brown it up just like you would do like taco meat but I'm gonna use like hamburger spices instead to season it and then like pickles but he's gonna do some jalapeno mushroom onion tomato like whatever you eat on your cheeseburger so I think it's gonna be delicious so I'm gonna go ahead and start browning this And while that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and wash these mushrooms and get them sliced up as well as this onion and go ahead and start sauteing those together. Okay. 
Okay, so four Bunky's little mushrooms and onions. I'm gonna do just, just a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. And then we're gonna sprinkle them with salt and pepper and a splash of Worcestershire. So Bunky has drained our grease from our hamburger meat. And I'm gonna season it with some Worcestershire. Uh huh. And then we're gonna do a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of Lowry's. Okay, how much? How much Worcestershire do you want? Like, give me some flavor, do but I, not too much. Do I need to leave the dash and cap on, or should I unscrew it? No, leave it on. Okay. I didn't know how much, how far we were going here. Keep going. Okay, I say that's pretty good to start. We can taste it. That would be pretty good. And then give me, you know, a good amount of garlic. I'm not left-handed. Okay, there you go, that's good. And then just a little bit of um, Lowry's. The Worcestershire has, you know, salt in it, so not too much. This stuff just doesn't want to come out, Viv. You don't want to just put it in your hand. There you go. Oh, that's way too much. But we can start with that. Perfect. You like my, my spreading? I love it. Okay, stir that around and taste it and tell me one, how it... One a little bit more that was there. I should have started cooking your onions and mushrooms before the hamburger meat, but I didn't think about it. But these look good. Okay, I was also just thinking you could totally do this like Greek style, use Greek seasoning, feta, roasted red peppers, like that would be so delicious as well. You could totally do like crumbled bacon, a fried egg, like there's so many different ways to do this, which I think is so cool. And I'm excited to try my little cheeseburger bowl without the bun. Bunky was like a little skeptical, but I think I have convinced him it's gonna be really good. So we're excited to try it. So Bunky and I just tried this hamburger meat and it is so good. It tastes just like a cheeseburger. I can't stop like taking little nibbles of it because it's like delicious. I think it is perfectly seasoned, Monkey. We did a great job. I agree. Your uh, sprinkling technique is what made it. <laughs> it was it was the dashes and the and the drop of that seasoned salt. I agree. You're not going to use these jalapenos. <clears throat> nope. You're going to use these. Ah, that's going to be so good on there. I was actually thinking a minute ago, um, are you putting cheese on yours, Bonk? I'm going to do like a little sprinkle of it. Okay. Are you going to do Swiss or are you going to do American? Yeah, I know I'm doing Swiss because I've got mushrooms and onions and I'm basically having a mushroom Swiss burger. That sounds good, B. And I'm going to put a little bit of this crunchification on there. <laughs> I think your mushrooms and onions are done and they look so good. Check this out, Bunky. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like your style. You're gonna let that. If you put a lid on it, it'll steam. Ooh. You get more melty. I'm gonna do a little sprinkle of mozzarella and a little sprinkle of cheddar. Okay, and I love ketchup and mustard on mine, so I'm gonna do a little drizzle of this ketchup, and then I love to use like stone ground mustard. Y'all know that's my favorite. So I'm gonna do a little drizzle of this as well. Okay. I know mine's so plain Jane, but there's my bowl. I'm so excited to try it. And then B is over here making his bowl. His is gonna be really good, as always. Oh, it's not gonna be that much different than yours. You have mushrooms, onions, jalapeno crisps, Swiss cheese, tomato, way better than mine. It's just a different, uh, different flavor profile is all. Look. Look at how that turned out. Oh my god! Can you so see good. it? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? And then, oh man, just 
slide that pile of joy That's going to be so good, Monk. Oh my gracious. I have a sugar bite and I love it. A little tomato action. A little pickle. Are you need pickles or no? I don't know. I might, I'm going to hold off on the pickle for now. And then a little bit of this crunchific crunchification, as I call it. Add a little texture. And I think that is going to be That is really, beautiful. That's going to be really good. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> that's going to be tasty. Mm -hmm. You know? What do you think? This is actually very good. I don't miss the bun at all. Uh-uh. And it feels like you're still eating a, like cheeseburger. a cheeseburger or something. It's very good. All right, y'all, that was so delicious. And honestly, it was so simple. It took like 10 or 15 minutes to make. So that is a great like go-to weeknight meal. We loved it. We're totally going to make it again. And I may or may not have an Oreo and a glass of wine later. We'll see how the night goes. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. Thank you for spending the day with me and coming along to see what I eat in a day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.